Okay, so Salvation Army let me in. I'm, it's only been three days since I did my last 24-hour regimen of my antibiotics. So I'm trying to think as to what all I can do. I'm, I'm probably, I need to take a shower, obviously. I'm insanely filthy. I've already paid myself down, so I'm with rubbing alcohol. Wait the next 12 to 24 hours to decide whether or not I'm going to start up the antibiotics again early in preterm and just water, monitor my lipid, my lipid and liver levels. That means full hydration, hydration and no synthetic sugars. Honestly, carbonated water is not exactly a good factor either, as well as neither caffeine. However, I can have them at minimum levels. Now let's get to the point about this woman that's now purging blood, not only with her maggots, but she's also purging blood out of her body from having worms disease so bad or Ebola. I have tried getting her to do medication rounds. I have tried every means in every direction. I have contacted the police department. I have asked for insane amounts of help. She's confronted and asked by another girl, what the hell was she thinking? She said they challenged me. And she tried to approach me. Because after I told her to keep your fucking distance, I had just taken three rounds of the warmer. Back to back to back. So I grabbed rocks out of the pit that I had just doused. I mean, soaked with baking soda and vinegar. shit out of all the polar virus that was in there, as well as the COVID vomit. She walked away, she ran away, actually, because I was more than happy to fucking nail her. She played baseball, are you kidding me? In such a predicament, I don't know what to do other than shoot them in the street and then have a team go through with their trucks. Somebody flip out a freaking bag, full 50 pound bag of lime. Now this is a problem. Burning lime is insanely deadly dangerous. But it's the only way to treat a fucking worm's body. Shit lit on fire is just will be exact same as a freaking asbestos fire. It's a nightmare. The whole district where that body is, her ass, her ass would have to be covered in the lime. Then somebody else rolls through after the lime has settled down, but it's still coated in their Vaseline and all that nine yards. Same freaking gear, Vaseline, long sleeve shirt, plastic. If they can wear it, a blanket to cover themselves up, that would be the person that dumps the bag out that's been poked holes in, so it'll explode on her when they, throw, when they run over her ass and then go drive through the car wash. person has to go through with wood doused in turpentine and dump that shit on her. And it's gotta be a crew that goes and dumps a fuckload of turpentine wood on her ass. And then somebody shoots her with an arrow with a turpentine tip. Or a grenade launcher. 